I know you might be wondering, why always Taylor Swift? Every other celebrity seems to have one feud with her or the other at every point in time. Personally, I don't know what it is about Kendall that they are always picking on her. Being talented is not a crime, neither is coming from a rich home one. Come on, you should all cut the young girl some slack. Today, let's talk about the three times Taylor Swift embarrassed her in front of the whole world. But before then, who's Taylor Swift? Taylor Ellison Swift was born on the 13th of December 1989 in West Reading, Pennsylvania, United States. Taylor from an early age showed interest in music, which made her rise rapidly from taking the roles in children's to her first appearance before thousands of people. At age 11, she sang the Star Spangled Banner before a Philadelphia 76ers basketball game. Taylor takes inspiration from country music artists like Shania Twain and the Dixie Chicks. In 2014, Taylor released 1989, an album she titled after her birth year. In the first week's sale after the release of the album, it sold more than 5 million copies in the United States and earned her the second Grammy for the album of the year. She has gone ahead to release a lot of songs making her a big name in the industry. Taylor, who's a pioneer of proudly living the single life and making the idea of a girl, had a number of girls which served as her cheerleaders. These girls include Kendall Jenner, Katy Perry, Ruby Rose, and Batwoman. Taylor, who was formerly known for her country music career, made a turn into pop music, allowing her music to overtake the ears of millions of people. With time, Taylor Swift became a household name. Just like every other celebrity, Taylor has had her own fair share of scandals and drama. These have tried to taint her career, but she has always had a way of coming out from them. You may be wondering, what's so special about this Taylor Swift aside music? Well, there's a lot of them. In 2015, Taylor had a concert. During the preparation of that concert, she heard news about a fan of hers who wouldn't be in attendance because of cancer. Taylor not only wrote to her, she gifted her 50000 to use to pay her bills. She also became the first woman to receive two Grammy Awards for Album of the Year. With this, no one can ever doubt that Taylor is a trailblazer for female artists in the music industry. Talk about friends who carry each other along, Taylor is one of them. She understands friendship and has taken it to a new level. This is a major reason she founded Girl Squad, and she's continued to carry them along in all her projects. From having her friends make a surprise appearance in various cities during her 1989 world tour, to have a full-on party with her friends in music videos for You Need to Calm Down. She also put her long-time issue with Katy Perry in the past, an attitude worth commending. Well, Kendall is no longer a member of the squad. I mean, your guess is as good as mine. Just the same way Taylor has great friends, so are her feuds. Anyways, Taylor's relationship with Kendall has hit the rocks. Surprised, right? Maybe it's because of the numerous embarrassments she got from Taylor. I mean, nobody stays in a place where they are disrespected. Anyone may take it, but definitely not Kendall. You would ask what actually led to their separation. One of the major reasons is that Kendall supports Scooter Braun, who was once Taylor's manager. According to Taylor, Braun has bullied her before and no member of her squad should be seen or remain friends with her enemies. But Kendall can't help it, because Braun manages Kanye West, who's her brother-in-law. Also, Taylor feels that Kendall has no problem liking any post that calls her out, and has always been quick to take sides whenever she gets into a feud with someone. Especially the issue between Taylor and Kim, who happen to be Kendall's elder sister. I know you haven't seen friends who harbor grudges against one another. This is one of them. Taylor can't be friends with Kendall, and yet she has a lot of animosity against her. It's good they went their separate ways, though. Another awkward reason for their separation is that at some point in their lives, they dated Harry Styles. Taylor dated him in 2012 and broke up with him. Kendall, who was fully aware of the relationship, went ahead and dated Harry Styles in 2013. Taylor felt betrayed and cut Kendall off. To get at Kendall, Taylor Swift in one of her videos threw some shade at Kendall by having an exact replica of her snake thigh tattoo which Kendall had once proudly showed off on Instagram. This fight is not just for Taylor and Kendall alone. Friends and family came in and started taking sides. Kanye West, Kendall's brother-in-law, is not left out as Taylor is a derogatory name and made fun of one of her songs, Famous. Many of Taylor's fans took sides with their friends and called out Kanye, but Kendall sided with her family despite the fact that she's been close to Taylor before. That concludes the saying, family first. But then, I don't think she needed to side with her brother-in-law at the expense of her friendship. 
Kanye was wrong and should apologize to Taylor. But it seems the whole family was against her. As Kim, who happens to be Kendall's sister, publicly said in an interview that Kendall was never in the Swift Girl squad. I don't know if Kendall was a part of her squad. I don't think she was. <laughs> yeah, so. How these two Hollywood hottest girls moved from friends to foes in a short period of time is absolutely amazing. No wonder Kendall has never showed up for Taylor's round of fashion, the bad blood, even when she was personally invited to be in the show for a reason. Everyone thinks Kendall intentionally avoided the show because it was a public declaration of the squad members. Although, a reliable source said that Kendall had an out-of-town engagement that week, reasons why she couldn't come. Taylor, who feels Kendall has let her down severely, didn't have any choice than to embarrass her publicly to get back at her and show her how hurt she was. In 2017, after Kim publicly declared that Kendall was never a member of Taylor Swift's Swift Girl Squad, Taylor in one of her videos titled, Look at What You Made Me Do, directly threw shade at Kendall. She kept singing some lines which were directly referring to Kendall in an annoying way. Also, she dissed a Nettle Solo jab which was directed to Kendall. Guess what she did? Taylor drew a snake tattoo on her upper thigh and wore orange high heel boots in the video. Kendall had previously appeared in V Magazine with a snake tattoo on her thigh and wearing orange waist-high vitamins ex Manolo Blodnik satin boots. She took some pictures and posted them on Instagram. So, Taylor replicating that look in one of her videos is quite embarrassing. You will think Taylor is done with Kendall, but no, she isn't done yet. After Kendall's breakup with Styles, who was once Taylor's ex, in one of her shows sang Style, a hit track she released in 2014. While singing the song, she began to relish the moments they spent together. Directly facing Kendall, she sang, Remember when you hit the break too soon, 20 stitches in a hospital room, two paper airplanes flying flying. Taylor was referenced when she and Styles rode a snowmobile together in Utah and wore a plain necklace. There's no better way to remind Kendall that she had a wonderful time while dating Styles than she did during their dating period. A lot of fans understood what was happening and had a good time laughing. An angry Kendall couldn't stand the shame and embarrassment as she walked away. In 2006, Taylor won the Grammy Award for Best Album of the Year. When asked to give her a vote of thanks, she saw that as an opportunity to have her own pound of flesh from Kendall, who decided to side with her family during the Taylor West saga. She sternly warned young women and her fans that there will always be jerks out there who will try and stop them, pull them down, or take credit for their accomplishments. But the most important thing is to ignore them and keep moving forward. If you just focus on the work and you don't let those people sidetrack you, someday when you get where you're going, you'll look around and you will know that it was you. Nobody really wants to fall out with friends, no matter who's at fault, but most people prioritize family over friendships. In the case of Taylor Swift and Kendall Jenner, no one really knew when the feud started between them, and no one is making efforts on reconciliation. I know you are as eager as I am to know how it goes with these two. Do you think that there is room for reconciliation? Drop your comments and answers down in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.